Wow, women really cannot live in peace, right? Last week, it was that predatory, disgusting V2K vitamin for testicles huh? telegram group which has been sharing unsolicited photos of women and pornographic materials of children. Wow. And then a few days later, a woman came forward to share her traumatic experience with a peeping tom. She was in a bar in Klang and was using the washroom when she looked up and found a guy staring down at her from the top of the toilet stall door. She then rushed out in fear, shouting at the perpetrator. And when the boss of the bar realized what was going on, the person labeled it as a misunderstanding and asked them to sort it out amongst themselves, leaving the bar out of the equation. Only after she shared her experience on Instagram and the post went viral, the bar reached out with the CCTV footage to be included in the police report. So I reached out to the victim and she has shared with me how the reporting process went with PDRM. The inspector explained to her that because there's no physical evidence, while well, the perpetrator did not take a photo or video of her, it's hard to charge him. But she assured the victim that she will still go down to the bar to investigate the matter and will try to find any relevant information that could help with the report. When asked if this means no action can be taken against the peeping useless Tom, the inspector said that the most she could do right now is give the perpetrator a verbal warning. However, the inspector shared some important tips that could be useful if you ever find yourself in similar situations. God, I hope not, but people are shit, so here goes. Number one, make a report ASAP at the nearest police station where the incident happened. It would help the authorities investigate the matter quickly. Don't wait, even 24 hours might be too late. I understand these experiences may be traumatic, but please, please make a police report. It's step one to ensure that incidents like these don't happen. Number two, don't be afraid to call the police. If you think the situation is escalating or people are trying to brush it off, call the nearest police station right away. So for example, if an incident happens in Damansara Utama, Google PDRM Damansara Utama and call that number. It's always best to reach out to the authorities that are nearest to where the incident happened. Number three, act quickly in such situations. Kalau online pun, the same. Get your screenshots, whatever relevant materials and head to the police station. I know most of us will probably feel like what could possibly happen? Police gonna do anything meh? But if you keep thinking like that, the authorities won't even know other incidents like this happening. Okay, so so so, I did a little research online and found out about section 509 of the penal code which touches on word or gesture intended to insult the modesty of a person. Here's what it says. Whoever intending to insult the modesty of any person utters any word, makes any sound or gesture or exhibits any object intending that such word or sound shall be heard or that such gesture or object shall be seen by such person or intrudes upon the privacy of such person shall be punished with imprisonment for a term which may extend to five years or with fine or with both. Aha! And yes, news reports online show that there were peeping bobby toms that were charged under this section. So while it may seem like nothing could be done when your privacy is violated, I say speak up, I say fight. Sometimes just sharing your experience on social media can help. Maybe someone will reach out on possible legal actions you can take or it's just a simple act of creating awareness on crimes like these. It's valuable, it's uncomfortable, painful, and people will character assassinate you. But please don't brush it off. Get legal, get the authorities involved. Always, we got this. Yeah.